up guys today? We're actually, this time we're actually at my school. Um, another flood. So I'm gonna try to clear out that grate just a little bit. It's stupid how they even have a grate on this thing. There it goes. Now if you want to come up here, now if you come up here, in place so I can just take off the grate and put it back on. And you might be asking why don't you just let my school's maintenance people do it? No. It's summer break so they're not here to do it so. And after that if I can tell if after that I might have to clear it with my hands once it's done draining and kind of get it clear. Okay now I can see through it. Yeah, as you can see, it's clear. This thing is draining quite quick. I just realized that my the side of my rake should be a lot better. I'm just gonna, because I can't grind it through there. That bar, that grate is just too, the holes in it are just too big. I might have to take some of these pine needles out. So it's in like a couple minutes. Um, so I'm just trying to plunge it a little bit. When I plunge, I just mean like grinding the debris through. Um, crap. I know I say never to touch my clogs, but I can tell it's by my school, so I'm pretty comfortable doing it. It's a six inch pipe, so actually it's a 12 inch pipe, so. So it should be enough, it should be able to handle it. But for some reason it's not. Whatever this is. Pine needles. I'm trying to feel for the, where the pipe starts. Here's the. That's where the pipe starts. Leaves out. Because I can see that they're all just leaves leaves but I, you can't really see the water level dropping at all but it is flowing I think using the rake is just not helping I think once it's clear you're just gonna let it drain drain down just kind of pushing stuff underneath it Completely open, but as you can see, we've dropped a little bit. The flood's dropped a lot. How is there a rock in here? Hmm. It's actually a pine needle. I'm just taking out the debris so it doesn't. I'm gonna put it far up so that it can't get back in. Not by just throwing it to the side and just letting it drain. I'm taking out all the debris. As you can see here, the water level. Look, you guys, look, you can see the water level dropping. See it. Like, look, now, like, point the camera at the actual water. You can slowly see it drop. I'll speed that up for it, it, when I edit this, but you'll see it's actually dropping. It's draining quick. This one doesn't have a small metal piece on except for other than the grate slowing down the water so it just or making it so that the water can't flow too fast into it you see i'm just gonna put my hand here just kind of block some of this debris just taking it out as it flows 
I, I want to keep it unclogged while I walk it's raining, because this one's always something I have to unclog. Sometimes the maintenance people do it when I'm when the school year's actually happening, but when it's not actually happening, it's never, ever unclogged. So I'm just going to give it a second, let all the debris just get sucked onto it. The water's warm, which shows that that it's been like this for a while. It's been all flooded for a while. Well, it's a while, so... Pull some of that out. Pull some of junk out. Let's get it breaking out. Water from the trees. That's from the tree. They don't see it anymore. Yeah, I think there's a squirrel up there knocking the tree. Look how much. He, look how much just, just dropped in a couple of seconds. There's a squirrel in the tree. That's why I keep on getting splashed. Imagine the school maintenance crew comes and they see me on vlogging it. They'd be like, "Why is James doing that?" Because. This is my school, so they know me. You can see it's a plastic pipe. The pipe in the ground is plastic. Now you can see it's just a drainage ditch worth of water now. And I mean like a residential drainage ditch. It's the ones you find on the side of the street, like the curb ditch. Or the curb gully, as it is in other countries. Gully and ditch just mean the same thing. It's all plugged up. All them plugged up. You see a little bit's flowing down the street from the French drains up there that drain those little blocks over there. Bricks. And I'm not going to st state the name of the school not to make them look bad. I don't want to make them look bad. I mean, if I look at the board, it says, or on the billboard over there, it says June 4th, oh, 11, 11 p.m. A.M., actually. It's supposed to be p.m., but no, it's a.m. There's a cigarette butt. Oh. Don't know why it's in there. underneath it. There is a slot? Yes, there is one underneath. Now you can see why, how it's just a really dumb drain design. But at least I can fit the, as I said in my last video, I can fit the rake through the bars. The bars. And I should be able to just use the, one of the prongs and just grind it on the side like this. A drain over by where they over where they're working on the on, on repaving. So. I have to use my fingers to get underneath there. So you can see now it's flowing. Now you can tell it's flowing. It should be pretty clear now. Make sure there's nothing in there that could eventually cause a flood. Let me kind of a little bit of debris forward. You see that? 
talk about the future. I'm just gonna let this area dry down a little bit too. And then so my school can pick up that debris eventually. But now it's gonna throw that out just a little bit. See, you can get your fingers underneath it. Push a little stuff through it. You can see it's basically just a silent pipe that's going along the curb. It's working. Please like and subscribe and goodbye.